Hello aspirants. So in this video we are going to talk about source of borrowing or you can say source from where we can get whatever amount that we need under fiscal deficit as well as its impact. Now the technical term for that is deficit financing that is written in front of you means the practice of raising funds to offset the deficit generated by an excess of expenditure over the receipts is known as deficit financing. So the technical term is deficit financing. Now basically if I talk about source of borrowing which is technically known as technically known as deficit financing. Now there are there are two sources of borrowing. Number one is internal source of borrowing and number two is external. source of borrowing. So, we have two sources of borrowing internal and external. So, if I talk about internal source of borrowing. So, under internal source of borrowing, we can say that one is that you can borrow from the public or you can say government has a choice to borrow from the public. Now, when I am talking about public, what does it mean? Basically, you know that we have banks in our economy. Okay. So, we have banks in our economy. So, here public used to keep savings in the banks or you can say government can also directly take money from the public. So, ultimately government is taking money from the bank or directly from the public. So, you can say in case of banks also indirectly we are taking money from the public. So directly, indirectly we are taking money from the public. So that is why I have written a money or word, written a word public. Okay. So public here means <coughs> that we are taking money from the, you can say, or government is taking money from the public that is either through banks or directly. Clear. So that is why word public. Second is printing of currency. Or you can say RBI is there. So, you can say RBI can print the currency. So, printing of currency by the RBI. Or rupee by RBI. Now, when we talk about external. So, in external we have again two choices. Number one, that government can take borrowing from foreign governments which you also called as sovereign government. Also, government can take borrowing from, you can say international economic organizations, international economic organizations, that is, you can say World Bank, IMF, that is International Monetary Fund, or you can talk about Asian Development Banks. So, these are the international economic organizations. So, there also we can take the borrowing. So, directly, indirectly, we can say that government has four choices to take borrowing. Number one is public. So, I hope now you understood what is public. Number two is printing of currency by the RBI. Okay. Number three, foreign government or sovereign government. And number four, international economic organization. So, we have these four choices available with the government. So, you know that that government for this financial year, so already I talked about in my previous video that in this financial year, government needs a borrowing of 17.8 lakh crores. So, this 17.8 lakh crores can be taken from public or printing of currency by the RBI or foreign government or internal international economic organization or you can say combination of all these four. Now, these four together known as deficit financing. So, when I am using a word deficit financing, it means I am talking about 
बोरिंग विच गवर्नमेंट कैन टेक सो इन एग्जाम टिल द टाइम यू डोंट नो वॉट इज द सोर्स ऑफ बोरिंग टेक्निकली नोन सो नाउ यू नो दैट इट इज टेक्निकली नोन एज डेफिशिएट फाइनेंसिंग सो फ्रॉम नाउ ऑनवर्ड टेक अ प्लेज दैट यू विल यूज दिस वर्ड डेफिशिएट फाइनेंसिंग क्लियर सो डेफिशिएट फाइनेंसिंग इंक्लूड फोर थिंग्स नंबर वन ऑलरेडी वी हैव सीन दैट इज बोरिंग फ्रॉम द पब्लिक नंबर टू प्रिंटिंग बाय आर बी आई नंबर थ्री फॉरन गवर्नमेंट एंड नंबर फोर इफ यू सी दैट इंटरनेशनल economic organizations like world bank and imf okay so these four are known as deficit financing or part of deficit financing now apart from this if you see this second term that is printing of currency by rbi that is known by another technical name and the technical name is and the technical name is known as we can say direct monetized deficit so this is the technical name now here understand one thing there is you can say common term monetized deficit that has two part direct and indirect but printing of currency by rbi is part of direct monetized deficit indirect monetized deficit is something else with which we will talk in monetary policy chapter so when we will cover the topic of open market operation so there i will talk about indirect monetized deficit but remember that when it comes to printing of currency by the rbi for borrowing purpose that is known as direct monetized deficit so you have to remember this term also okay so if in exam they ask a question what is direct monetized deficit so you have to tell that this is direct monetized deficit that is printing of currency by rbi for borrowing purpose for borrowing purpose of government of india that is known as direct monetized deficit so i hope now you understood what is direct monetized deficit clear clear so this is what you have to remember with respect to source of borrowing now we'll going to see the impact of these borrowings okay now when you have to study the impact of these borrowings so please understand it carefully so you can make a table like this so if you see the first source of borrowing is public now here you know that public has limited money in their pocket okay public has limited money in their pocket now some money they spend on their daily expenditure or daily consumption items and some money they save either in the banks or in some other financial institutions now whatever they save so again can i say that savings are limited in an economy now such savings are needed both by government as well as by the private sector means industries in order to in order to expand their business now savings are limited so for this limited savings on one side government is demanding and on other side private sector is demanding so if suppose assume that whatever is whatever savings are available in our economy and if majority savings are taken by the government of india so it means less savings are left for private sector and such situation is called as crowding out effect and such situation is called as crowding out effect so here we are assuming that whatever total borrowing that government needs now assume that all the borrowing that government is arranging from the public okay all the borrowing 
that government is arranging from the public. So assume that all the borrowing that is needed by the government, so government is trying to make arrangement from the public. Clear? So that is, you will see that if that is the thing, that will be responsible for crowding out effect. Okay. Although some of you may be thinking about government securities, treasury bills. So that is a separate topic. So we'll discuss in some other videos. Okay. So here my intention is to tell you that if government takes all the borrowing from the public, that is responsible for crowding out effect. Clear? So this is what you have to remember. Okay. Now, second thing that you have to remember is Second thing that you have to see is that is printing of currency by the RBI. Now, if RBI prints the currency, if RBI prints the currency, that will be responsible, or you can say here again we assume that all the money that government needs in the form of borrowing that is sourced from printing of currency. Now, if suppose that is the thing like 17.8 lakh crore you can say money is printed and then that money will be injected into the market so when that money will be injected into the market so it will lead to increase in money supply and money supply will be increased to such a level that is it is responsible for inflation not only inflation high inflation okay so ultimately this is going to increase money supply and that will be further responsible for high inflation and when you know that the situation of high inflation has a negative impact on our growth okay so inflation has high inflation has negative impact on our growth clear so here also remember one thing although in general if examiner asks the question that what can be the deficit financing so you have to tell all these four but if they ask in context of india so in context of india remember that printing of currency for borrowing purpose is banned by rbi or you can say by the parliament since 2006 and that is through frbm act so please listen it clear, clearly that printing of currency Printing of currency for borrowing purpose. So, see, I am using a word for borrowing purpose. Although printing of currency for other purpose is allowed. Like you may ask, sir, in demonetization, we have a printing of currency. Yes, there we are exchanging old notes with the new one. So, when we are doing that thing, so that is not responsible for increasing money supply so ultimately i am snatching old notes in place i am giving new notes so money supply remains the same clear so for borrowing purpose only printing of currency is banned and it is banned since 2006 2006 and this has been banned as per frbm act that is fiscal responsibility and budget management act frbm act fiscal responsibility and budget management act so this is what you have to remember clear so it has been banned as per frbm act clear so this is what you have to remember for your exam so again i am saying that if question is in general that what deficit financing include so it include all four that we have already seen okay so if they ask in general okay but they ask in case of india which of the following options or choices are available under deficit financing so then you will tell to the examiner that there are three options only public foreign government and international economic organization so it means printing of currency for borrowing purpose again i am stressing for borrowing purpose is banned since 2006 that is through frbm act clear so this is what you have to remember and also here remember that this the topic of direct monetized deficit means printing of currency by rbi for borrowing purpose was in news immediately after covid 
means in 2223 means in the year 22 specially in the year 2022 20, it was in news okay why it was in news the answer is very simple because you will see that that time our fiscal deficit has touched so fiscal deficit has touched 9% of gdp so there was a debate that for such high borrowing or for such a borrowing government must again go for direct monetized deficit means they must restore printing of currency for borrowing purpose but again i will tell you that it has been banned as per the law so it means again if you or in future if you need borrowing or you can say borrowing through printing of currency so for that law has to be amended and law amended by parliament only so it is not like that ki you suppose tomorrow you become prime minister and you call rbi that i need money so print the currency for borrowing purpose okay so you cannot so law has to be passed okay so ultimately that will go to lok sabha and rajya sabha and ultimately although it's a money bill okay money or finance bill so ultimately lok sabha has power with respect to this so you will study that thing in you can say polity part clear so this is what you have to understood okay this is what you have to understood so it was a debatable point it was a debatable point so in debatable point you have to tell one thing that if it is restored so you have to be ready with high inflation so this is what is the main concern now next option we have is foreign government so if suppose government decide to take all the borrowing from the foreign government now this also have its further consequences now what are those consequences or impact so if you see foreign government now whenever you take money from the foreign government no doubt money supply will increase and again that will be responsible for high inflation second what is the another impact is that it is going to impact your exchange rate because whenever more dollar supply will be there or foreign currency supply will be there in your economy so that will be responsible for affecting the currency's exchange rate or you can say it will have impact on exchange rate so whenever more supply will be there okay so as well as demand is constant so that will be responsible for appreciation of your currency so this is the concern and third is when you take money from the foreign government so there may be possibility that there may be possibility that if you have taken a huge amount as a borrowing so there will be possibility that you have to compromise on your sovereignty so you can say sovereignty get compromised clear now when it comes to international economic organizations now when it comes to international economic organizations so there you will see that again money supply will increase exchange rate will get impacted exchange rate will get impacted and number three you will see that whenever international organizations gives money they give money on conditions so we call it conditionalities so remember the case of imf so imf used to give money in during 1990s on conditions and that is known as washington consensus okay so ultimately conditionalities so every borrowing come at some cost so when it comes to public crowding out effect when it comes to printing of currency high inflation when it comes to foreign government so we have these three impacts and when it comes to international economic organization again we have these three impacts so ultimately ultimately every borrowing come at some cost that is why you will see that government used to take a combination of that okay so in our case this is not allowed so we have these three so government used to take a combination 17.8 lakh some part is taken from public some from here some from here clear so overall if you see in india in india government has taken more borrowing from internal sources 
सो दिस कैन बी एन एक्सपेक्टेड क्वेश्चन इन प्रिलिम्स गवर्नमेंट हैज टेकन मोर बोरिंग फ्रॉम इंटरनल सोर्सेस ओके वेल राइट इट मोर बोरिंग फ्रॉम इंटरनल सोर्सेस एज कंपेयर टू एज कंपेयर टू एक्सटर्नल सोर्स ऑफ बोरिंग क्लियर सो दिस कैन बी एन एक्सपेक्टेड क्वेश्चन इन प्रिलिम्स दैट इन द स्टेटमेंट फॉर्म सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट वी हैव टेकन मोर बोरिंग फ्रॉम इंटरनल सोर्सेज एज कंपेयर टू एक्सटर्नल सोर्स क्लियर so this is what you have to remember with respect to sources and impact of boring clear yeah, so this is what has been written here also that external and internal boring so you can see that we have talked about crowding out effect also that external boring brings in foreign currency it is preferred over internal boring due to crowding out effect clear the if the government itself goes on boring from the banks of the country other investors may be left out so this is what i told you that savings are limited and if majority savings are taken by you can say government so internally or other investors or private sector will be left out so it means whatever savings are left now that will be at higher interest rate and when they have higher interest rate so ultimately what happened that private sector will delay their investment okay so you can see this way also if the government itself goes on borrowing so we have seen internal borrowing is other measure of fiscal deficit management an increased borrowing program means the public debt will also go up ultimately economy head for a double negative lower investment and lower demand in the economy so this is what you have to understood clear so here some data has been given benefits and disadvantage are given like in disadvantage we said that exchange rate risk is there okay so this is what you have to understood clear clear so this is what is you have to understood with respect to this thing now monetized deficit in involves printing okay so here we are talking about direct monetized okay indirect is a part of open market operation so as i told you we'll discuss in monetary policy in detail clear so this is about this topic so i hope you learn something okay and it is beneficial for you so please try to make notes and whatever doubt you have you can contact me anytime so my name is himanshu so you can contact me on my instagram page that is economy underscore himanshu so there you can message me so i'll be i'll be replying you within 24 hours and if you need to talk to me also so you can get my number from there itself okay but again you have to message me there okay so i hope you find this session helpful so we'll meet soon jai hind and have a nice day